Corps Topographic Regiment and its regimental headquarters provide survey, cartographic, terrain analysis, mobile printing services, and geographical advice to the commander, Corps headquarters, Corps troop, its divisions, and Allied formations geographic staff. The regiment includes a field survey squadron, a cartographic squadron, a geographic support squadron, and an administrative squadron. The field survey squadron provides precise positional data using conventional, satellite, or inertial survey methods. Yeah, that was good. This information is used to support navigation systems for map and chart production to locate various theater and core weapon systems, including air defense guns, radars, and missiles, and for electronic warfare and directional communications equipment. The squadron deploys survey detachments to bring accurate grid survey forward from the theater area to the division rear boundary. The function is then taken over by the survey troops of the division target acquisition batteries and brought down to regimental rocket and gun areas. Survey activities are built upon an existing survey database, which includes a framework of known control points that have been established in a theater of operations. This framework is extended into the new area of operations and is used as the basis of all continuing survey activities. Control points are normally established by field survey teams using theatolites and electronic distance measuring devices. They can also be rapidly fixed by using global positioning systems. The resulting raw survey data and control point locations are entered into the information bank of the tactical command and control system. The cartographic squadron from a location within the core rear area provides photo or conventional line maps of the operational area. Its functions include updating, revising, overprinting and producing accurate topographical maps, mobility traces, photo maps, and special map products for specific operations. The map production process combines the control point information from the survey squadron with a series of overlapping aerial photographs. This block of controlled photography goes through a computerized triangulation process to produce a control plot. Other available data is then superimposed by the computer onto the plot. The resulting overview is compiled by computer into a contoured two-dimensional image of the terrain. A three-dimensional view of a piece of ground can be constructed. A plotter then produces the matrix, which, in turn, is used to print the map. The Geographic Support Squadron provides terrain analysis and field printing support to the Corps. Its headquarters maintains and distributes the bulk map stocks required by the Corps. Geographic support troops are detached to Corps headquarters and to each division HQ. They depend on the supported headquarters for daily maintenance and general technical support. Each troop approximates 20 all ranks and is equipped with special purpose MLVWs, trailers and generators. Their technicians service and carry out limited second level repairs to their specialized equipment. A geographic support troop is made up of a terrain analysis section, a field print section, and a map distribution section. A division assigned troop is normally co-located with the division intelligence company near the division main headquarters, with its map distribution section sited at division rear headquarters. Geographic support provided by the regiment assists commanders in seeing the battlefield and using the terrain to maximum advantage. The terrain analysis section produces evaluations concerning the effects of terrain on operations by processing all available information produced by collection agencies. It provides advice to commanders and to staffs to assist in the developing of tactical and supporting plans. The section works as a part of the Division Intelligence Collection and Analysis Center and it deploys a representative to the Division Engineer Headquarters. 
The field printing section presents information to the user by updating older maps and by printing tactical terrain analysis overlays. It also produces map and air photo enlargements, reductions, and overprinting, tactical traces, and overlays. The section has a very limited drafting capability to support its printing activities as well as any division headquarters requirements. It receives taskings from the Division G3 staff and the ICAC. The map distribution section receives, holds, and prepares for distribution bulk stocks of maps and other cartographic products for the division. It also provides for the needs of the field print section. The regiment's administrative squadron provides first-line combat service support to the regiment's elements located in the core rear area. It also provides limited second-line maintenance support for the unit's specialized equipment throughout the core area. The division-assigned terrain analysis team uses previously collected geographic and updated battlefield data, which has been fed into the tactical terrain analysis database to answer specific questions posed by the commander or the staff. The computer analysis utilizes six terrain factor overlays showing slope, soil, surface drainage, vegetation, obstacles and transportation routes to help answer queries on observation, fields of fire, obstacles, key terrain, cover and concealment, avenues of approach, mobility corridors and the like within an area of operation. The slope overlay portrays the maximum slope of the surface at each point on the ground expressed as a percentage. For example, area D equals a 15 degree slope. Data from this overlay is used to assess slope limitations of any planned locations, such as roads, cross-country routes, airfields or landing zones, and the suitability of river crossing sites. The soil overlay shows the type and condition of the surface soil. The first two letters indicate the surface material and the third indicates its roughness. Dots and or dashes indicate dry, moist or wet soils. This information is useful for engineers when planning construction or repairs of roads, trails, airstrips, etc. and is vital to terrain analysts performing cross-country movement studies. The surface drainage overlay portrays water that will have an effect on the battlefield. Lakes, ponds and reservoirs are shown as open bodies of water. Rivers, streams, canals and ditches are defined using a nine-digit code to indicate the type of feature, gap width, bottom materials, height and slope of the banks, average water velocity and depth. This information is valuable to engineers planning river crossing operations and the sighting of mines and other obstacles. The vegetation overlay provides detailed information on average tree diameter and spacing, including the vegetation roughness factor on the forest floor. It divides vegetation into categories of tactical significance. Coded letters and numbers indicate types and density of ground vegetation, canopy closure, and tree height. This information is used by terrain analysts in trafficability studies to calculate line of sight information for communications, surveillance and target acquisition planning, and to provide cover and concealment information for survivability. The obstacle overlay portrays linear terrain features that form natural and man-made obstacles, some of which are not readily identifiable on a topographic map. All obstacles shown are over 1.5 meters high and longer than 250 meters. These include, amongst others, escarpments, embankments, depressions, road and railroad cuts and fills, fences, walls, and other micro-relief features. This information is used by engineers involved in barrier and counter-move planning. The transportation routes overlay portrays selected roads, bridges, tunnels, ferries, railroads, 
airfields and the like over which troops and supplies may be moved during military operations. Information shown on the overlay includes roadway widths, steep grades, length and width of runway surfaces, and bridge information such as length, width, overhead clearance, and bypass potential. This information is used by engineers and the G2, G3, and G4 staffs, requiring lines of communication data. Data from these six basic neutral factor overlays can be combined to produce a tailored trace in response to a specific staff requirement. An aviation-oriented combined trace can, for instance, present detailed information of interest to aviation staffs and units covering a particular air mobile operation. A different combined trace can present to the G3 staff going information pertaining to the link-up phase of the same operation. In addition, ADP techniques can present data in ways which can bring target acquisition means, weapons, and communication systems to bear more effectively, and which can save time and resources during operations. For example, three-dimensional arrays can be constructed to show actual visibility from selected observation posts and reject ones that are of limited use. Sites for weapons locating radars can be pre-selected to provide for optimum coverage. Radio path profile analysis can be constructed to assist with communications planning. And the locations of gravel and sand deposits can be provided to engineer units. In conjunction with coordinating the topographic support received from the regiment, the division engineer staff remains the primary advisor on effective use of terrain. It assists the G2 staff in coordinating geographic support requests and in evaluating requirements, setting priorities, and selecting alternatives. The staff also tasks engineer units to collect terrain data and prepares the topographic operations annex for the division operations order. The topographic regiment provides the commander with broad area survey support a cartographic effort that emphasizes up-to-date maps, tactical terrain information and evaluations tailored to the division's needs, a quick response printing capability, and a map distribution service. It will provide the commander with an intensive and far-reaching view of the battlefield. <laughs>